I'm going to show you how to disassemble a Canon A4000 lens assembly. This is the assembly removed from the uh, camera and um, first of all I'm going to keep everything oriented with the top uh, facing towards me. The top says Canon um, zoom lens 8x on it and uh, I'm going to keep all the parts oriented in that direction when I disassemble it so that I have a better idea of how to reassemble it. So first of all we're going to start by removing the aperture cable from its uh, primary uh, ribbon cable and we do that by releasing this little tab here and then pulling the aperture cable out. Now we're going to release the primary cable off of the its tab and it's held in place by a double sided tape so let's pop that up pull it out of its slot and kind of lay it off to the side here uh, the next thing we're going to do is release uh, the other side of the cable from its retaining tab right here pop that off okay now we're going to remove the motor, drive motor and the gearbox from its housing. You take the screw out um, and set it on your screw guide sheet. The, all four of these screws in the back are the same so you don't have to worry about mixing them up or not. Uh, okay, pop the uh, um, motor up and rotate it off and to the side there. Okay, the next thing is we're going to do is pull the pinion gear out and that uh, comes out in this direction. You notice on the bottom there's a uh, little um, pin axle and on the top there's a hole, there's a pin on the top of the motor housing gearbox that goes into the top of that um, pinion gears lay that off to the side on your screw guide sheet okay next remove the other three screws hold constant pressure on these screws while you take them out sometimes they're threaded in pretty tightly One screw is underneath the CCD controller cable, so just lift that up a little bit and remove it. I use a magnetic screwdriver. It's pretty easy to um, keep track of the screws and hold on to them. Okay, now lift the uh, back plate up with our, still with our um, drive motor attached. Lay that off to the side. And like I said, I like to keep everything oriented uh, with the top facing towards me when I disassemble this and so now as you can see we've got the uh, gear housing and the um, lens rotating lens extender group inside the housing here and first of all I'm going to pull this tab up through its slot here to get it to the outside Okay, now I've got this um, oriented so that the top is facing towards me and you can tell that by the um, interrupter tab on the primary uh, retaining ring and, and lock ring um, is facing towards me. So. Now in order to release all this I'm going to rotate this as far as I can using a small screwdriver and indexing the gear. Be careful not to damage the gears. Okay now I'm going to index that as far as I can. Now you see that this plate popped up a little bit and that's the position where I can slide my whole extender group out of my outer housing. I'm going to lay that outer housing off to the side. Now what I have here is the extender group and what I'm going to do is rotate this as far as I can clockwise and that will release or counterclockwise and that will release the 
secondary group from the um, inner housing and so now I can slide my um, primary locking ring or, or um, indexing ring off to the uh, off to the side and lay that on my lay that to the sheet. Now you can see here that the um, secondary extender ring group, which holds the aperture, is still in the um, primary extender ring, which has the ring gear on it, but it's the uh, ex the extender group is released from its um, tabs here, so I can push that up and lay my primary extender ring with the ring gear on it off off to the, on the, my sheet here, and what I'm left with is a uh, my secondary extender ring my front uh, lens carrier, my um, secondary rotating indexing ring, uh, the secondary indexing sleeve, and the front zoom lens. And what I'm going to do is pop that assembly out of here. And so what I'm, I'm going to rotate this in the um, clock counterclockwise direction as far as I can go. And until this pops the front lens extend or the front lens carrier will pop out and you can see that's uh, loose now and also this whole indexing assembly is loose so I pull that out of the ring there's no need to disassemble this any further unless you have to replace some of the parts but you can um, you can uh, disassemble it if you want by just pushing on the tabs a little bit here and pushing it in and pulling the tabs out. Okay, well, let's lay those off to the side here, keeping everything oriented with the tops facing towards me. Okay, now I'm left with uh, my uh, e extender ring group, and what I want to do is look, hold this by the... Um, secondary indexing sleeve tabs which are these two tabs right here and rotate that in a counterclockwise direction looking at it from or I mean clockwise direction looking at it from the front here until I can go as far counter or as far clockwise as I possibly can while I'm holding these two tabs here and rotating these three tabs here okay now so I'm rotated it clockwise as far as I can this is the point where it's going to align with its releasing grooves but you can see it's still back in here about a sixteenth of an inch what I have to do is get that to come out to the front here and so I'm going to tap that now I'm going to rotate this back clockwise or counterclockwise as far as it'll allow me to go in this direction okay now I'm gonna this is align the front uh, zoom or secondary zoom lens is aligned with its release tab so I'm gonna pull that out and lay that off to the side but before I do notice this little raised like tab on here when you uh, go to reassemble this uh, this is very important to get this tab over the metal um, ring the metal indexing pin on the um, or line tracking pin on my aperture assembly and uh, that's this pin right right here and uh, we're going to show you that a little bit closer when we get it out okay so this this little raised um, tab here is aligned with our pin when we go to reassemble it so I'll set that off to the side here now I'm going to continue re um, rotating this counterclockwise until as far as I can go again until my aperture assembly aligns with its release grooves and what I'm going to do is push that out from the front here 
and lay that off to the side. Okay, now we can disassemble this if we want to. Uh, the uh, the retaining plate already popped off the top here, uh, so we're going to disassemble that. So you can see here, there's um, four tabs on here, and there's um, two tabs are further apart than the other. These two tabs are closer than these other two tabs here. So that's kind of a good way to orient this back when we uh, go to reassemble it again. It'll only fit on in one direction. Okay, rotate the the uh, inner sleeve here until it lines up with it, any set of release screws here. Okay, that's right here. And you can see that it's going to line up with a set of release screws, kind of drop down a little bit, but you're going to have to rotate it while you pull the two apart. So now we have our lens totally disassembled into the release, release um, totally disassembled in all of its parts. And I've laid them out in their proper orientation, and you can see, see here um, how they're laid out here from right to left they're uh, laid out in the order I disassemble them. I mean, our next video is going to show you how to reassemble this after you replace the parts or repair the damaged parts that are in it.